we present a new proxy-guided texture synthesis approach for rendering natural scenes. Our method is useful for rapid pre-visualization. For example, a director or game level designer wants to create a mountain shop with a lake. With our approach, all that needs to be done is to design rough proxy geometry, and then choose the appropriate annotated image to provide visually rich detail. Here the director designer wants to choose between two different cases, and using our solution it is now possible to navigate in these visually rich scenes at near interactive rates. Our approach has four main stages, input and preprocessing, guidance synthesis, fast texture synthesis, and temporal coherence. We illustrate each stage with the arch example shown here. First the user selects the image to add visual detail to the proxy model. It has a manually segmented guide shown here. Then we create a simplified 3D geometric proxy. In the second stage we render the proxy to create a guide map for texture synthesis but the silhouettes of the rendered proxy are lacking in detail. We add the necessary detail using a texture synthesis process to synthesize a more detailed guide, using the original segmentation as an exemplar. The effect of this guidance synthesis is shown here. Given the discrete nature of the texture IDs, we develop a texture synthesis method based on chamfer distances instead of color differences. In the third stage, we perform guided texture synthesis using the original image and the synthesized guide in three separate steps. In the first step, we create a set of neighborhoods using flood fill, similarly to patch-based synthesis. The result is shown on the left, with color-coded patches on the right. We then improve the result with per-pixel texture synthesis. The first two steps are performed at low resolution for efficiency. In the third step, we increase the resolution to the target output size, typically 1024 squared. We then apply a gradient transfer step with multigrid Poisson synthesis to produce the final image. In the final stage of our approach, we perform temporal coherence. Like all texture synthesis methods, we cannot guarantee true temporal coherence. However, we provide local coherence based on reprojection. We first create an extended depth representation using the proxy geometry and the synthesized guidance and a jump flooding algorithm. We then project the previous frames and fill holes based on a distortion measure. The guide can also be interactively edited. Here we show interactive editing of the lakeshore on the right and the mountain on the left. The detailed guide is interactively updated accordingly. Here we show the introduction and removal of icebergs and editing of the mountain. Our approach could be useful for rapid modeling for simple games. The underlying geometry remains very simple. In contrast, the standard modeling process required two and a half hours to create this scene by an experienced artist. The result still suffers from smooth geometry and distorted textures. A potential application could be for rapid pre-visualization of landscapes. Here we use the shader to navigate interactively in a non-photorealistic landscape based on a painting. Using a time-lapse as input, we provide a first step for the development of solutions with changing lighting conditions.